started up the right side, drawing in really nice. Right side of the green. Oh, Big Cat hit this one crispy. Uh, started up the right side, feigned towards the pin. Yeah, I think he's on, or maybe just right in front. How'd you hit it? Oh, Matt hit this one right at the pin. Looks great. Go in. Yeah. Oh, right next to the pin. Great shot. It's the orange ball, dude. Nice. Orange. We uh, pulled this just a little bit left. Hopefully, it catches that green. Oh, no, it didn't. All right, guys, welcome back to part three. We're out here with Matt, Mr. Short Game, um, at Goat Hill in Oceanside. And we just uh, hit some shots in here on the 13th hole, and you just stopped one in there. Nice shot, dude. One close. I could do about that any day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you're enjoying the series, hit a thumbs up. Make sure you check out his channel. The link's going to be down below. And uh, if you guys are ever in San Diego, check out Goat Hill. Awesome place, great value, and uh, beautiful day out here. Thanks, yeah. yeah. Good times. All right, uh, as Marco mentioned, uh, Matt stuffed one in here about six, seven feet. Uh, looks like uh, Marco and I are just shy of the green right here. And then Bisky is, I think, down at the bottom. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> oh, Bisky's got a bad knee. He's hobbling all over the place. We are in a hole 14 and having a blast out here at Goat Hill. Um, great place in Oceanside. If you guys are ever in the area, uh, definitely come check it out. Uh, this is a short par four, it's 253 yards, and it's all uphill. Uh, you know, we haven't really learned our lesson, so I figure we'll probably hit, out, hit another driver on this hole too. That's actually probably gonna be See over there, Kim Wasabi. Making everyone's job harder. Yeah. Nice. Yo, Marcos. Marcos. I'll yeah, put ball. some ice on it. <laughs> ice it up. Ice it up. B just drove it on the green, so the driver finally paid off. <laughs> I'm over here on the car path, and coach is a couple yards past me right up there, so. And then I think uh, Matt was, I think it's you, brother. Woo! All that swing good juice is paying off. Just give this guy a brew. <laughs> oh, this is great. We're having such a good time out here. Oh, I got caught up in the crabgrass. All right, so Marco's on the dirt cart path. He does not get relief. He is gonna play it. He says he's gonna show me how to do it. Yeah, he really showed me there. <laughs> All right, we're both on the fringe. Bisky hit a bomb on the green. Uh, Matt is right below the pin. Thank you. All right. Left to blow the pin like a seasoned veteran. Good job. yards off the green and uh, probably shouldn't hit a driver just like uh, we mentioned earlier course <laughs> management's not been great out here so we're gonna have to improve it to score I think we need a little redemption come out here play a little smarter hit iron off the tee and uh, not make these big mistakes all right hole 15 here par I think it's a par 5 it's 450 yards so 
unless uh, this is the longest par four on the course. But it looks like we're just kind of going over this little bit of a hill and it's gonna go back down and I think it's turning pretty hard to the right. So probably gonna hit driver here again <laughs> and uh, see if we can thread one up there. Nice ball. Driver. Uh, really loving these Fujikura graphite shafts. Uh, just got to get used to it, get my alignment dialed in, and I think these are going to be money. Uh, so I'm just going to hit a smooth six iron and uh, take it right out the pin. Oh, you hit that little thinny, flared up to the right, and I think it's going to be a little bit front of the green. All right, I got about 195, and it's playing straight down the wind, so I'm going to just hit the six iron and uh, just try to find the green here. If you guys want a pair of those Spy sunglasses, uh, we got them on uh, golfholics.com. Go check them out. Got a really good price on them. Oh, he started this just right of the pin. Fading over to perfection. Oh, just landed a little bit short and just stayed there. A nice little uh, par five here. Actually, the only one on the course. A lot of trees, a lot of movement on this hole gonna go for it in two, yeah? Yeah, 197, downwind, I have to hook it around this tree that you see, so I'm hitting a six iron hook. Yep. Started it up the right, it's not coming back. Get down. Oof, it's gonna be tough down there. So I got a buck 38 left. Uh, this is fairway, we are at Goat Hill, so uh, you gotta pick it clean. I'm just gonna try to just hit a just smooth nine iron. Uh, normally this is a wedge for me, but again, I just gotta pick it really clean off this hard pan. A little skinny, going at the flag, just fading a little right. Hit pin high, rolled off the back of the green. <laughs> it went long! Ah. Ah. All right, what do we got here? All right, let's give you that six iron a little bit to the right. Um, I've got about 25, 30 yard chip, a little bit into the wind. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it right at it. Make good contact. Really good shot. Things rolling out. Go in. Ah. Well done. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Maybe give Mr. Short Game a little run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys saw that chip shot. Pretty good. I got about four or five feet left. Um, I think Matt or B is just right here on the edge. Luckily, he stayed up. And then uh, Marco is just on that bunker's edge. Uh, he's got a fairly open green. I think he can be pretty aggressive with this shot and uh, get it nice and close. So Matt, give us a little tutorial here. We got a long bunker shot, uh, probably about 30 yards, little lip in front of you. You know, why don't you take us through this, like what you're gonna do on your whole process. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the uh, 54 degree wedge today because it has 14 degrees of bounce. So I need a little more distance than normal. Normally I like to hit my 60. Right, so, so that bounce is going to get you to get through the sand and up and through, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna and it's gonna help me drive it through, and hopefully I get the distance I need without any major disasters. All right, let's do it. But every other bunker bunker shot kind of theory, you know, applies. I stay on my front foot. Do yep. The whole. Come on, run out. All right, he's on the dance floor. Caught it just a little heavy, but he's got a putt for uh, birdie right there. As long as you can get it on. That probably went 20 yards, so I'm about 10 yards short, but. No problem. We'll take it. Good. Okay, sorry about that. All right, he's got about 12, 13 feet left uh, coming up the hill. We got B coming up right now. He's got a really tough side hill lie. He's got a lot of green to work with. Okay, yeah, really tough shot right there. And then Matt ended up on the green. Are you there in two? Okay, so he's putting for birdie. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can make another birdie here. It's 
guys uh, got the shades going right here. We're having a great time out here at Goat Hill. You know, beautiful spot right here in Oceanside. 20 bucks, you know, $20 Tuesdays. Come out here with a buddy, get a cart, grab a couple of brewskis, have a good old time. That's Boom, what we're doing there you have it. This is uh, hole number 16. It's a par four, it's 346 yards, and it's straight into the wind. Uh, it's blowing about 25 right now. You guys can kind of see the pin. It's just barely peeking over the hill. Uh, we don't know what's uh, below there, but uh, we haven't really learned our lesson, so I think we're gonna take a drive around this one again, too. Oh, oh I crushed. Sort of ricocheted off a tree or something. I'm uh, kind of in between the fairway and the, uh, the car path, so uh, I'm just gonna hit a little chippy pitching wedge and uh, try and get it close. Started that a little bit right of the flag stick, drawing. It's headed left side of the green. I think he's gonna be on the dance floor, but it might have rolled off. I'm not sure. All right, I got about 113 left, uh, straight into the wind, so I'm gonna just hit pitching wedge. I'm gonna aim a little bit further right just because the wind's kind of uh, moving everything a lot, so let's see if I can find the green. Caught that a little heavy and pulled it just a little bit. It's gotta go. Oh, yeah, it's on the front part. Good shot. Okay, 80 yards, tightest lie ever. So this time I'm going 54 degree with a 14 degree bounce wedge. That's it. Look at this, guys. Like the, the grass is like super skinny out here. You see us chunking the balls, but it's a lot of hard pan. It's tough. You got to be a great ball striker to score well out here. Oh, Matt hit a nice one. It's going just to the right of the pin. He should be about 15 feet. Nice. Good look at birdie. So I uh, hit a pretty good drive there. Got about uh, 40 yards left. Elevated green. Uh, just trying to hit the green. I'll be ski right at the flag. Looks good. He should have maybe, short? might be know, short. It's hard to see. Could have an eight feet for birdie, or it could be 10 feet short of the green. It's one of the two. All right, coach is right here. I was the only one to hit the green, and then everyone else was a little bit short. Go ahead, coach. -o. Yeah, not bad. Nice, easy par. Nice putt. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh! All right, guys, 168 yard par three right here, playing straight downwind, downhill. Got to carry a pretty big ravine, but um, as you guys kind of saw all day, the, the greens are pretty small out here, but uh, this one looks uh, pretty favorable. Just gonna go for the middle of the green here and kind of let the wind push it over to the hole. Start of that left side of the green, going dead straight, hanging there. Might get a bounce. Nope, he's gonna have about a 35 footer. Mmm, crispy dip. This looks good. Right out the hole, a oh, little bit of spin. And uh, he's got about a six, maybe eight footer. Well done. Ooh, Matt hit this one crispy too. Looks like it's right in the middle of the green. It's got to go a little bit. Oh, and it did. Got a great bounce and uh, feeding towards the hole. Actually, right next to mine. Good shot. Marco pulled this just a little bit. He needs to catch the green or it's going to funnel down that hill. Oh, there she is. Right next to the car path. So the big cat hit just barely off this hill. Uh, he's probably about eight to nine feet below us right now. He's got a touchy little chip coming up. Doesn't have a lot of green to work with. Oh, that looks good. Oh yeah. Yeah, pretty good shot. He's probably got about eight, nine feet left below the pin. All right, Bisky uh, hit one just on the left side of the green. Just barely got on. And then uh, me and uh, Matt are right next to each other, uh, putting up the hill. I'm not even gonna 
Put him on blast. Give the guy a break. Come on, put it up. Alright, he just put it off the green. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> great recovery. Cash money. Play oh. coach with the ramp job. Man. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're on hole 18. It's a par four, it's 306 yards, and it's just straight away. You guys can see the pin uh, waving. Looks like it's in the middle of the green. Uh, there's some trouble left, uh, but I think we're just gonna take driver one more time. Back to business. I'm trying to play with glasses on. It's uh, it's quite that. It's pretty tough. <laughs> it's, almost, it's pretty tough. We got 96 yards left. I'm gonna just hit a nice smooth lob wedge. Try to make a birdie here. Finish strong. Caught this one a little heavy. Pushed it to the left. Came up a little short of the green. He's gonna have a little fun up and down. Um, so I got 75. Just gonna flip a little wedge in there. Oh, he tugged it a little bit left, but he could be pin high. He's pin high, just left side of the green. Not bad. All right, so Matt was just in front of the green right here. Pretty straightforward shot for Mr. Short Game. A little bump and run. Yeah, well done. Just left himself about a five footer. All right, go long. Chunked that a little bit, but it's rolling out. Okay, not bad, about an eight footer. Hmm. All right, good par. Dude, it moves that way. The goat got us all. We, yeah. we all got goated big yeah, time. We definitely did. Hey man, pleasure. You know, unique golf course for sure. A lot of skinny lies. Um, you know, you got to be a great ball striker to play good out here for sure. A lot of undulation. Definitely uh, would come back. Won another piece of this course. Played awful today, but uh, had a good time with you guys. You know, new experience. Totally chill. I think we come out here with a different uh, mindset. A little bit of a different game plan. <laughs> yeah, no drivers. So, no dri yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, uh, untraditional golf, but a blast to come out here and, and see some of Oceanside's finest. So, cool that they do such a great job for the junior golfers, too. Yeah. Amazing that they're so committed to developing the game, which is, you know, what you guys are about. Love to see some of the youth. So, good. Yeah, Matt, thanks so much for uh, joining up with us, man. It was a fun collaboration. And if you guys are haven't seen Matt's channel, go check it out, Mr. Short Game. He's got a really good tutorials on there, on Short Game, obviously, and other stuff as well. And uh, fun, entertaining stuff, and uh, hopefully we can do it again soon, for man. Sure, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Great Absolutely. time. And, uh, yeah, golf Alex. Yeah. <laughs> 2.0. <laughs> hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you guys sign up for the tournament in July, Golf Alex Invitational. Hopefully Matt's going to come out as well. It's going to be down in San Diego at Santa Luz. It's, uh, it's a little bit pricey at 250 bucks a pop, but you guys do get lunch, you get dinner. There's gonna be all kinds of fun prizes. Porsche's coming out, they're gonna you know commit a car if there's a hole in one, so really cool stuff. Hopefully you guys make it out, we'd love to see you out there, so. Uh, Dude, yeah. It's Santa Luz, a private country club, 250. Yeah. You can you can pony up some hey. couple bucks, it, come it, on. Yeah. The juice is definitely worth the squeeze, <laughs> come out. <laughs> yeah. All right guys, we'll see you for the next one, later. 
Uh, we are in hole number 16, it's 346 yards, it's all into the wind. It's about, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he stuck a camera in my face. All right, we are on hole number 16. Uh, it's 346 yards straight uh, into the wind face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're, we're a mess out here, Daniel. Don't even put that in the outtakes, please. Alright, Daniel. Sorry, dude. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna give Mr. Shorkin a little run for his money. <laughs> Having a lot of fun out here. And uh, if you're ever in the area, uh, Goat Hill and Oceanside, great spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with that. Right? <laughs> I saw the wiggle worm. The wiggle worm. Um, I think he's got one. <laughs>